boys and girls. We have a change in scenery today. It's a gorgeous day. And what better background to record in than Mother Nature. So today I'm gonna read to you a Marilyn Burns story and it's called The Greedy Triangle. Now this is cool because it's a math book. So when we're reading, we don't always think about math, but this is a really fun story about the Greedy Triangle. And this is also a scholastic book. Um, and they're letting us read to you guys while we are not together. Here we go. Once there was a triangle that was, as most triangles are, always busy. The triangle spent its time holding up roofs, supporting bridges, making music in a symphony orchestra, catching the wind for sailboats, being slices of pie and halves of sandwiches, and much, much more. Well, the triangle's favorite thing, however, was to slip into place when people put their hands on their hips. That way I always hear the latest news, it said, which I can tell my friends. Triangle's friends liked hearing the news. One day the triangle became dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the triangle went to the local shapeshifter. How may I help you? The shapeshifter asked the triangle. I think if I just had one more side and one more angle, said the triangle, then my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the triangle into a quadrilateral. Because the triangle has three sides, the quadrilateral has four. So it added a side and an angle. Well, life changed in a wonderful way. The quadrilateral was happy with all the new things that it could do. The quadrilateral could become a baseball diamond, first, second, or third base. It could take position on a checkerboard or a chessboard. It could be a television screen, a computer screen, or a movie screen. It could frame windows or frame pictures and much, much more. The quadrilateral's favorite thing, however, was to be the pages of a book. I learned so many interesting stories that way, I said, which I can tell my friends. And the quadrilateral's friends liked hearing those stories. I'm sure we got lots of fun stories. But one day the quadrilateral became dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the quadrilateral went back to the shapeshifter. How may I help you now, the shapeshifter asked the quadrilateral. I think if I had just one more side and one more angle, said the quadrilateral, my life would be more interesting. Easy to do, said the shapeshifter, and poof! The shapeshifter turned the quadrilateral into a pentagon, because a pentagon has five sides and five angles. Well, yet again, Life changed in a wonderful way and the Pentagon was happy with all the new things that it could do. The baseball diamond, the Pentagon could be home plate and it could be a section on a soccer ball or appear wherever somebody drew a five pointed star. A Pentagon's favorite thing to do, however, was to be the headquarters of the United States military near Washington, DC. I hear all the top secrets that way, I said. It's too bad I can't tell them to any of my friends. The Pentagon's friends couldn't help feeling left out. Hmm, top secret news. Well, after a while, time seemed to pass slowly for the Pentagon and it became dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the Pentagon went back to the shapeshifter. So you're here again, the shapeshifter said to the Pentagon. Now, what do you like? I think if I just had one more side and one more angle, said the Pentagon, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter, and poof! The shapeshifter turned the Pentagon into a hexagon. So a hexagon has not five, but six sides and six angles. That's a hexagon. 
Well, life changed again in a wonderful way and the hexagon was happy with all the new things that it could do. A hexagon fit in as floor tiles in houses and patios and fancy crackers at parties and picnics. It worked as the socket of certain bolts and the prongs of certain wrenches. But the hexagon favorite thing to do, however, was to be in a cell in a beehive. I love watching the bees as they buzz in and out, it said. And the hexagon spent so much time in the beehive that it was too busy to talk to his friends. And the friends missed the hexagon and couldn't help but feel ignored. Oh, poor friends. Well, again and again, the shapeshifter became restless, dissatisfied, and unhappy with its life. And again and again, it returned to the shapeshifter for more sides and more angles. And the shapeshifter agreed to turn it in one shape after another. A heptagon, which has seven sides. An octagon, which has eight. A nonagon has nine. A decagon has ten. And so on and so on. You can see all of the different shapes he went through there. Well, finally, the shape had many, many sides and many, many angles. And its sides were so small that it had trouble keeping its balance. Its friends couldn't tell which side it was on and began to avoid the shape altogether. Not very nice of their friends, huh? Well, one day when the shape was going down a hill, it began to roll and faster and faster it went screeching around all the corners and crashing into fences and trees and colliding with bicycles and terrifying walkers. And at last the shape came to a stop and it felt tired and dizzy and lonely and sad. Oh, poor guy. Enough, thought the shape. I don't know which side is up and I can't keep my balance. My friends don't want me around and the shape could no longer remember why it had so, been so unhappy the triangle. Very carefully it made its way back to the shapeshifter. Aren't you happy yet? The shapeshifter said. I want to be a triangle again, said the shape. I'm not surprised, said the shapeshifter. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the shape back into a triangle. The triangle was delighted to have its old shape back, and it kept itself very busy. And once again, it held up roofs and supported bridges, and it made music in a symphony orchestra, and it caught the wind for sailboats and became slices of pie and halves of sandwiches and much, much more. Still, the triangle's favorite thing to do was slip in place when people put their hands on their hips. That way I always hear the latest news, he said, which I can tell my friends. And its friends all liked hearing the news and were glad the triangle was back in shape again. Yeah. So boys and girls, I hope that ooh, I hope that you enjoyed that story and you can see that we are always having some kind of a connection between math and reading. And see how many of these shapes that you can draw on your own at home.